Hello Pilton Community College. Um, hello Charlotte. Hello Sid. Hello Genevieve. Uh, I wish I could be with you, uh, but I'm actually on Exmoor at the moment. It's very, very beautiful. Have a look around with my dogs, um, who will probably interrupt this video quite soon. Um, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about my visit um, and about truth and lies. Um, I was in a school last week called St. Benedict's, which is in Glastonbury. And uh, I was teaching a poem to year four, year five, and year six. I don't know if you remember, but they, they have names uh, of animals when you're that age. So one of the classes was the tortoises, one class was called the squirrels, one, one class was called the spiders. Uh, so they all had names. And uh, I was teaching vocabulary so that they would understand the poem. And so I said, okay, what is a whale? And one boy put up his hand and said, it's a large mammal that lives in the sea. But the next, uh, the next question got a different answer. I said, what is a pearl? And they said, it's a precious stone that comes from a creature in the sea. But when I said, okay, which creature? A little girl put up her hand and she said, a clam. I said, no, 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 not, not a clam. Uh, does anyone know where, where, where uh, a pearl comes from? Sid? No? Okay. Um, so I said, no, it comes from an oyster. But then after the break, I taught the year five class and I said, okay, so, you know, where does a pearl come from? And a boy put up his hand and he said, a clam. I said, no, 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 no. And the same in the afternoon um, with the year sixes, a girl put up her hand and said, a clam. And I thought, ah, okay, my dog has just killed a rabbit. Okay, but I'll continue. I'll continue because I can't save it. Okay. Good dogs. Good dogs. Okay, quite distressing, but that's nature. Um, so anyway, um, it, it, it made me think. I thought someone is teaching these children wrong information, uh, misinformation. Uh, and it's very important that you get more than one voice and more than one side of the story. Otherwise, those children will tell other children and then everyone will think that a pearl comes from a clam. So anyway, I wrote a poem um, and I thought I would share this poem. I'll, I'll probably send you a copy so you can read it. It's very short. But anyway, this is my poem about uh, misinformation or worse, this information, which is when you teach someone the wrong information deliberately. Okay, so this information after St. Benedict's years four, five and six. Someone has fed the lie to the tortoises, also the spiders and owls. To a man, they claim a pearl finds its provenance in a clamshell, just like they say a whale is a mammal. Something is disturbed in their mental furniture, like the sadists who laugh as they teach their own child window while pointing to a door, or that oil of hounds in a manger its kilted frame knocked awry after the cleaner has been. So my idea was that, oh, there's the rabbit. Bertie, come here. There you have it, nature, red in tooth and claw. Okay. So that's kind of, anyway, I'll keep this in the video because it's, it's happened. And uh, maybe we'll have some uh, soup in, uh, this evening. Anyway. Um, so I wanted to talk about that poem and where, where it came from. So the first, the first thing is I had an idea and I thought, hmm, you know, I had the idea that came from, from an experience of my life teaching in the schools. Then I remembered uh, the cleaner. Uh, I was at a friend's house and there was a lovely painting and it was knocked to the side. It was hanging wrong. And I said, what, what happened here? And she said, oh, the cleaners dusted it. So I thought, okay, so if you teach someone wrong, it's a bit like the frame being uh, not quite straight. 
not quite true. And the third part of this poem is the, uh, the story about the parents who teach their child something wrong deliberately for a laugh. And I remember I was working in a factory and a woman was talking to me about people in her house who were teaching their child wrong words because they thought it was funny. And I thought this was terrible. I thought this was child abuse. And uh, I have a baby now who's 11 months old. And so this came into my head again, this memory, this old memory. So that's how I wrote it. So if I was going to give you advice about how to approach your piece of writing, I would say, write about something that affects you and that, and, that, and that you think about and you think is wrong or you think is important and use examples from your own life, things that you notice. It could be, it could be when someone is pretending to listen to you but you notice they're not really listening or it could be about people uh, pretending to be your friend but not really being your friend. Think about things that have actually happened to you or that you have actually noticed and then people will believe your story look at uh look at george orwell you know um did he kill an elephant we don't know but we do know that he lived in that country that he had seen elephants that he had probably seen elephants being shot that he had held a gun that he knew the people and the weather and the climate and the way they spoke and he knew so much about it that we believe his story um, and we are interested by his story because he knows what he's talking about anyway that's my advice to you so um, I've got nothing else to say except um, I wish all of you very good luck and I really hope that uh, you're successful and so I can read your stories um, uh, and they can be published and I can read them online and I can hear your ideas. Um, it was an absolute pleasure uh, visiting your school. I'd love to come back. Uh, so very good luck. Uh, enjoy the writing and yeah, take care. Bye bye.